Okay, we're going to get into this uh, stutter button. Uh, I bought an industrial switch. It's a momentary switch. That means when you push it, it will send a signal or cut a signal. Now there's three poles coming down the center. This bottom one is what's called a common and it's labeled as C. That's going to go out to the input jack. Uh, then there's one that's uh, normally open and then another one that's normally closed. Now we want to make sure that the uh, electricity actually flows through this when the button is not pushed. So by doing this we'll take our, our meter here, we'll go to the common and then we'll just see what happens when we go to the center pole. Okay so there's nothing there uh, which means this button's going to work when I push it if I hook these two leads up, the center and the common. Now what we want to do is we want the juice to flow through the switch uh, without it pushed. So if we go here, now we can see that we have flow on the meter. So for this to be a kill switch and we want our guitar to work with the button not pushed, we're going to hook these two leads up as hot. I'm going to run the wires and uh, just uh, solder them in front of you and then just kind of discuss. Um, if you go on eBay or somewhere and you get a switch, you need to make sure that you get the right one. If uh, they're advertising a switch that states it's great for a boat horn or something like that, uh, it's normally open and you close the circuit when you push the button. That is not the switch you want. You want a button that's going to be normally closed and when you push the button it opens the circuit. And I gotta make that extremely clear because if you guys go on eBay and go and buy a button and then your guitar doesn't work unless the button's pushed, uh, then I've informed you incorrectly and I, I do not want to do that. So uh, we know now that with the button not pushed, we've got current going through, so I'm going to run the wires and uh, we'll be back.